teachers tell me all the time, these math problems are just so tricky. They're, they have too many words. Or do they? However, usually when I show this strategy, the teachers realize it's actually not the words getting in the way. It might, in fact, be the numbers. When I'm coaching, I'll put a word problem up on the board. Multiple sentences, lots of words, a few numbers sprinkled in here and there. And then the teachers say something like, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about, too many words. And then I do something a little bit differently. I put up the same exact problem, but I remove the numbers from that problem. I block them out. I then ask the teachers to say, would you read the word problem now and tell me, are the words still getting in the way? And most of the time, when I do that, the teachers look back and say, huh, actually, no, those words aren't getting in the way anymore. Often, when the numbers disappear, the problem's context comes out. The problem's context is much easier for students to visualize. Students can understand and make sense of what that problem scenario is asking. The students can talk about it. They can think about it. There's room to breathe so students can internalize what's happening. Once the students make sense of the story, we can bring the numbers back. And suddenly, the story is not overwhelming anymore. 